welcome to the channel. It's me, RP. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I check out Tech Store Simulator, where you run your own electronics shop by stocking the shelves with the latest tech gadgets, setting the prices, attracting customers, handling payments, hiring, managing your staff, customizing your layout, and creating the ultimate tech shopping experience. This is put out by Astrosoft. They are the developer and publisher. They also gave me a key to this game. Thank you so much to the developers. Let's jump into this and see what it's all about. All right, here we are. Hey, friend, thank you for buying our game. It's worth reminding that the game is still in early access. If you find any bug, don't swear too much, but on the contrary, you can send it to us in Discord. This way, we will make the game better for everyone. Have a good game. Press escape to continue. Boom. I passed the reading test, guys. So, Listen, before we get going here, guys, I really want to thank everybody for all the support they've given my little channel since I uh, started uh, creating videos and streaming here on YouTube uh, last October. And if you'd like to continue to support the channel, uh, I would really greatly appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, maybe consider a subscription. If you'd like to hang out with gamers like yourself, I have a Discord where you can meet other gamers, maybe engage in some multiplaying game if you don't have anybody uh, you know, in your neighborhood or on your friends list that you can play multiplayer with, come on over, make some friends, play some multiplayer games, have a good time, and let's get into Tech Store Simulator, all right? First thing is first, as always, let's go to the computer. All right, let's go in, let's sign in on the computer here. Let's go to the Manager tab, and let's get us some products. All right, Bite Me Inc., for uh, no money, and that's the kind of money I like to spend, no money, uh, gave us products to start with. All right, so we've got some uh, some basic little products here. So now it wants us to open up the shop tab, and we need to buy a small shelf. That's going to be under furniture. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get two of these because I know I'm going to need two of them. And then we're going to have to get some products. So I'm going to get uh, one cart cart yes one cart of each product and let's go in here let's make sure we have everything one two three four five two shelves i believe that is all we need let's go ahead and buy and uh yeah we got five items and two shelves what's going on buddy what is this dude up to hey Whiskey Willie, hey, hey, what's cracking, my dude? They call me Willie, Whiskey Willie. If you're feeling fancy, I'm kind of like the local tour guide around here, except, you know, without the fancy bus or the health insurance. So what brings a fresh face like you to my humble piece of paradise? Looking to learn the secrets of the streets or just trying to figure out why I smell like a dumpster fire? Either way, you came to the right guy. Oh, Willie. Willie, how can I not accept... Don't ever change your clothes or anything. You know what I'm saying, bro? All right. So let's go ahead and let's put up some, uh, let's put up some, some merchandise. All right. I'm going to put that right there. Get along there, Willie. I'm busy. Got, uh, I've got gadgets to sell. I wish I could afford another shelf. I cannot, uh, because the shelves are rather small. So you can only put half a box. And, uh, and then you're out of luck. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a little box, box uh, mountain over here, I guess. And uh, yeah, so we just put all this stuff up here, you know, as much as we can. Just throw the boxes down. Excuse me. Hey, Willie, watch out. You need to, you need to move along, my friend. I'm sure we will conversate later, but right now I've got to stock my shelves. Now I'm going to have three open uh, spots when I'm, when I'm done with this. Uh, but I'm going to leave those uh, because when we get to the next license, we'll be, we should be able to buy a shelf and we should be able to then fill three shelves with the uh, appropriate amount of uh, products this here. And yeah, there we go. We got three shelves left over. Now I could just go ahead and fill those up just to have them filled. But I think what we'll do is we'll just, just do it like this for right now. This is my restock. I can restock everything. I know I have a uh, enough to restock one time. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You do have to do this, though. So let me take this. I do have to double up one of these. 
Let's double this up down here. Tutorial won't let me go any further. I have to trash a box. All right. All right. Now we can go to the computer and we can manage the prices. So in manager, we're going to go to product price. Everything we bought is right here. We, we This is our base price. And what I've learned is you can add $5. I don't know if you can go any higher. If you can, please drop a comment. Let me know what you've uh, found the ratio to be. Right now, t uh, a $5 bump on any item uh, seems to be okay. All right, everything's priced. Let's go ahead and open up the, the uh, store. And let's see if we can uh, take care of some customers here. Now, the only thing I, I don't like about this setup is you you can't move. Once you're in the register mode, you can you can escape out and look around. But once you're on the register, the only thing you can do is interact with the products and hit space bar. So I can't really like keep an eye on my stock while I wait for customers to approach. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, so maybe I can turn the register around so I can face and see what I'm doing. Uh, but for right now, everybody seems to be very happy with the products. I need to get to level four right off the bat here. All right, I want to keep an eye on our. No, where is Armor Pro Guard? What do you mean? Where is Armor Pro Guard? Did I did I miss a product? One, two, three, four products. That's all all I could all I could get. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Armor Pro Guard. Maybe I don't have that yet. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going to find out. Oh, thank you. All right, this gentleman right here also works at Pumping Simulator 2 as a manager. Very interesting. You are moonlighting in Tech Store Simulator. Uh, you, you are my friend. Let's see what's going on. How are we doing on product? We are doing fine on product. Okay, that one just disappeared. Let's go ahead and get this up here. Excuse me. There we go. Put that away. Anything else? All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's get rid of some of these customers. Now, this is nice because you can actually get rid of these guys as fast as you can double pump your uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, so that's really nice. Hey, how you doing, kid? Thank you. Hey, kid, I, you're back again. Get out of here. All right, we get to sign a new supplier. We hit level four. So we need to go to the open manager tab and sign another contract. But I think what we'll do is we'll just sit right here on the register and we will continue to sell. Now, I know we got to be out of some other stuff here. All right, so let's get the rest of these items up on the shelf. And, uh, yep, you go ahead, grab one, help yourself. It's a pink one if you're looking for it. I have it uh, right here. Excuse me, kid. Oh, got to open up the box. It won't automatically open. I, I kind of kind of like the way um, Supermarket Simulator uh, kind of did that where it would open automatically. Uh, but this does not, so. All right, there we go. Got a lot of customers. How you doing, Willie? So let's see, can we get on here? All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's bang this out, folks. Here we go. And that's how you do power register right there, folks. That's power register. We just bang them right out of here.
Yeah, I don't have the uh, Flex Ultra. Sorry about that. All right, get out of there. Well, that's interesting. If you enter your cash register from front and then you get out, you get right back to the front of your register. That's pretty cool. All right. I like it. Let's go over here, manager. Uh, and we need to sign a $200 a Giga Goods contract, which is going to give us, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. I think what we'll do is we're, we'll, we're going to hold off on that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the store because I think they, they, they bought me out of everything. So why don't I just close my store? And what I prefer to do is restock with what I have because I earned $1,000. And now I can buy another uh, cart. And I can go ahead and buy another shelf. And, you know, the rest of this stuff. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, I might be able to get all of the product. On to, uh, excuse me. Hey, Willie, you almost got hit there, brother. Careful. Careful. I don't want, I don't want anything to happen to you, my friend. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can do this. All right, if I grab this, basically, do I have enough car, uh, enough shelf space now to do this? All right, grab a couple more. So I hope I should be able to put everything out and not have to restock it. And this is how I want to grow the store. I want to actually, the way I'm thinking, right, is I'm not going to rush into signing a new supplier just yet. And maybe I'll just like chill and just, you know, load up the store a few more times. I think, uh, I think you call it grinding. Okay. I think I'm I, I think I'm in a good position to grind. There you go. And I got two extra spots, but I got everything out. So I think what my goal's gonna be here is to work the store, add the shelves, and maybe eventually we get bigger shelves. But for right now, uh I'm gonna like load up like this and then make money, add a shelf, and then when I have enough money and enough shelf space, I'll buy the license so that I can continue to double up everything like this. And I'm going to need to be able to, you know, deal with um, uh, the extra product that we got to buy. Cause let's go over here and take a look at the license. Look, we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more product uh, to go with one, two, three, four, five pieces of product. So yeah, we're going to need a, a few more shelves. What can we do for upgrades? Anything we can upgrade the store. We have reviews. Yeah, we're kind of a joke. Prices are a joke. Well, what do you mean? I mean, you got to be able to have some prices. I mean, what, what what do they expect? I think I would like to get storage opened up as soon as possible. Customization we can wait on. All right, let's go ahead. Let's open up the store and let's make some more money. I think I sh I think I showed you guys everything now on that on that part of the uh, game. So I think we're good. All right, so now we definitely, we're just definitely going to be right here and just stay on the register because we don't have to um, restock. I don't know how long it's going to take for people to uh, buy everything and if we'll have to shut down the store again and restock, but we'll find out. I wish I could turn my head. I, I just feel so locked in here <laughs> you know come on i want to be able to move around when i'm on my register i want to be able to look around go ahead and you know scan the product i wonder if they'll ever do that that would really be nice look at this i'm, I'm just locked all i can see are people's crotches all right there you go i can see the top of the kid's head if everybody was as tall as the kid it wouldn't be so bad Right, kid? Yeah. I recommend this to my friends. Oh, good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Speaking of recommending to your friends, uh, don't forget, everybody, hit that like button. <laughs> recommend it to your friends. All right. We're just rocking and rolling. 
This is all I can do, folks. This is the extent of my uh, of my input into the game at this moment in time. And here comes our friend from Pumping Simulator 2. I can't remember what his name was. He had a name, a default name, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure if it was Henry. I have to look back on my series. I do have a Pumping 2 uh, series, if you want to check that out on my... Uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. Had a lot of fun with Pumping Simulator 2. But uh, right now we're doing uh, Tech Store, right? We're selling technical technical stuff, technology, gadgets. Uh, it looks like we're selling phone cases to me, right? Is that what we're doing here? These are phone cases and some like cables, right? We got two types of cable and uh, what appears to be uh, phone uh, protection cases, so. Not a whole lot of technology going on here. But anyway, we're at level six. Let me take a look at something here. So at level six, you are able to, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Upgrades, not upgrades, product prices, not product prices, suppliers, not suppliers. Employees. So I can hire somebody at a daily cost of $150 to run the register. Ooh, let's try that. There we go. Now I can see. Thank you, ma'am. I didn't get your name, but, uh, you know, we'll talk later. And uh, we'll get to know each other. And uh, thank you so much for joining the team. I really do appreciate it. You look like you are concentrating. You're either concentrating or you're constipating. I can't tell which is which. Okay. Well, that gives me a free hand with $641 to try my hand at restocking and keeping my little empire rolling. Yes, let's do that. This is going to be interesting. I mean, they give you that at level five, so I'm assuming the smart thing to do is to uh, take advantage of that. Now, I had two of these, yes. And a couple of those right there. Now, I have my own little uh, job to do, so I can just leave that right there. I'm just going to keep this store uh, rolling along now that I have a new friend very good pink ones go here I think I hit the secret sauce get a cashier at level 5 This way we can, <clears throat> excuse me, this way we can also stay open. Got some, got some cords for you folks. If you're looking for those cords, I, I have them right there. All right, let's see how we do now. I have two more of these. Do I, do I have any room? Well, you know, the beauty about this, I'm going to just put these two right there. Hey, hey, need a hand? Hey, I see you got some shiny new competition over there. Funny thing, that place used to be my turf. Had a supermarket called Nokata Market right there. Yeah, those slick suits came in, kicked me out, and set up their tech toy shop. Now, if you want to give that jerk across the street a hard time, I'm your guy. But hey, this ain't charity. Fork over 50 bucks to kick things off. I'll start cooking up some plans to make their lives a living hell. Sound good? I think we have to do this, so let's do it. Go ahead, Willie. There's $50. Go ahead, do. And here's who he's talking about, folks. This is my competition. Now that I got a cashier, I can kind of roam around here, show you guys what's going on. 
this is the competition. And I think when you pay Willie $50, uh, he helps keep the, keep the customers coming your way instead of the competition sucking up all the customers off the street. I'm guessing if you guys know the answer, let me know if I'm right about that and that you really need to give Willie the 50 bucks in this game. I'm just gambling that that's what you have to do. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do. Anyway, while I'm out here, guys, check out the graphics. This is the first little business sim that I have seen with uh, this kind of water graphics on the street. Pretty, pretty cool. I mean, they got wetness down very well in this game. Everything looks very wet. Nice puddles. Really love it. I do photography. I look for these puddles all the time to do reflection shots in the city. Uh, so it caught my eye right away. Hey, Willie, you going to get busy? What if I talk to you again, Willie? I, you know what it is? I can't talk to Willie again. All right, so we've already talked to him. All right, so that's cool, Willie. Do your thing. That's their store. My store is over here. We will eventually change the name. I just don't want to spend the money to do that right now. I'd rather try to get, you know, a business going. Still wants us to sign that second supplier, but like I said, my uh, approach to the game is going to be sell off my product, build up uh, a nice set of uh, funds, and expand smartly. Because I'm a human, I don't have to listen to a computer when it tells me to do something. I can make up my own mind. Let's take a look at what else we got here, guys, that we can take advantage of. One of the things we can take advantage of is a loan because we've reached level six. So we are entitled to a loan. Lock, a, lock, available at level six. Well, what is this? What is this? I could take this loan. I don't get it. Oh, it's a period of three days. Maybe that's what that is. This one might have a longer, uh, no, it looks like the same to me. That's kind of confusing, yeah? You guys tell me why, why? I don't know why, but you guys can tell me this is where you rename it, um, and that's $200. So we're not going to do that. But we can watch people walk out of our store from a bird's eye view. I like that. Very good. Okay. I think we covered everything. Oh, wait a minute. There's a lottery. What is a lottery? What is a lottery? How do I play? You bet. And, and how do I win? What do I got to do? Oh, I got to get three numbers for... For, for times 10. You guys, should I play the lottery? Let's play the lottery one time. I don't know what my bet is. Uh, but I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> What's autoplay? Uh, play one? Nothing's happening. Okay, do I, do I pick something here? Do I pick this? What do I do? Your bet? Uh, oh, here we go. I'm going to bet $10. And then I'm going to play. All right, so I got a scratch. How do I scratch? Like that? Okay. Scratch. 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 Did I get anything? Anything. This is why I don't play the lottery. I have never gotten anything in real life. Why would it be any different in a virtual game? It just isn't. It's the same. How are we doing here? We're running out of product. What time is it? It's 2300. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we're making a lot of money. Oh, well. Let's order product. What else can we do? Like I said, we're not going to pull the trigger on a new license until we are in the, uh, at least the four digits. I think that's the safe way to go. Because this costs $396 each time to refill this stuff. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not. Not at all. I enjoy restocking. Uh, there's worse things in life to do, right? This is a pretty mellow job. I'll, I'll take it. All right. Do I got stripey phone cases? I do. There you go. It's up here. Uh, I got a couple left over. Uh, let's put them right there. There we go. 
I also am paying um, paying my cashier too, right? I've got to account for that. I think the cashier is running us uh, about a buck fifty something a day. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. We might not get you know the next license in this episode, but hey, that's a good reason. For you guys to smash that like button let me know what you think about this series and maybe we'll come back to it after this uh this first look like this I don't know. be up to you guys you know that's the kind of channel i have man you guys like it i play it if you don't like it yeah i'm not gonna play it hey willie i see you got uh, time to talk to me what's happened uh camp out chaos so you want it you want to even the playing field a bit for just 250 i can make that happen here's the deal i'll set up a camp right in front of that shiny store across the street uh, me and my unique scent will keep their customers away like flies from a fire trust me once i'm done you'll be seeing a 20 percent boost in your own foot traffic deal uh we, okay we got to do this all right willie's setting up and there he is. Okay, great. Thank you, Willie. Willie cost me $250. I can tell you folks, after talking with Willie and paying, uh, well, let's call her Nilly. Yeah, Nilly and Willie. Nilly Willie. Willie Nilly. So Willie and Nilly uh, need, you know, they, they're they constantly in my pockets. So I don't think we are going to get that recipe or that license that recipe <laughs> the license i don't think we're going to get the license yet guys i think we're going to just keep grinding a little bit and if you guys want to see more of this you guys do me a favor hit that like button don't forget if you're new to the channel subscribe and we'll come back and we'll check it out we'll see uh we'll see what else is going on with the game and until then uh i wish you guys a very good day or night and thank you so much for joining me and as i always say Ta-ta and bye-bye.